What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing, of course. And uh, hey, for all the other guys, share the video, man. Like uh, it helps grow the channel, so I appreciate that very much. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna answer another question today from another sub. So I started doing this because I'm getting a lot of questions now, so which is great. I love it, guys. Keep them coming in, and I'll do my best to answer them, of course. So this question here is from Panos BNL. Is it possible through practicing froze to get any serious or permanent injury? For example, your knees, shoulders, or spine. I believe that generally practicing judo is safe and for sure they will teach proper technique. What is your opinion? Not only is it possible, it is definite. Everything is permanent when you injure yourself. Because guys, I'm also a, uh, a, a, a trainer, personal trainer fitness trainer so I've studied in this and I have experience in this and that's what I do I train people online I used to train people in a gym actually I still do not now because you know the pandemic and everything so we're all locked down here so I understand in regards to injuries how it works and here's the thing with injuries and I myself uh, injured all over the place when you injure yourself you injure, injure a joint it's never the same afterwards never 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 the same depending on your age and, and how fast you recover and all that and how serious the injury is but you never go back to 100 percent that's for sure you could uh bring it back a good level right a level where like it's very functional and still very strong and all that but i mean the injury itself will always kind of be there so you're gonna have to uh strengthen the muscles uh the tendons around it and fix the mobility and all that but i mean it, it'll never be at 100 percent. you'll have to compensate somewhere else permanent injuries yeah, of course, of course. Like if you tear ligaments, ligaments don't grow back. If you're gonna be competitive in judo, injuries is 100% gonna happen. So you have to accept that. Now, if you're not gonna be competitive, injuries are still part of the game, but it won't be as bad. What I'm trying to get at is that there's no way around it. Anything, any kind of sport you play, you're gonna get injured. It's gonna happen, you know, accidents happen and it's just the nature of, uh, competition and of sport in general is that people who don't even compete who are just play, doing things for fun they get injured life is gonna mess you up whether you get messed up through sports or you get messed up by just you know doing nothing and just sitting on your your ass all day i wouldn't say that it's safe but i mean if you learn how to break fall you have the mats uh, you don't go crazy you can make it safer but anything you do in life there's nothing is 100 percent safe you know, like if you want safe, then maybe, I don't know, ping pong, ping pong is safe. Oh! Permanent injury, yeah. But like permanent in the sense that the injury will always be there, but it doesn't mean permanent, like as in incapacitating. See me, like I'm still functional. Okay, this shoulder isn't as good. I'm still working on the mobility and stuff like that, but I could still move and do things, not a problem, you know? Of course, my uh, I got partially torn ligaments in my knee. I have to have a lot of, not a lot of muscle, but big enough muscles and strong enough muscles in my legs to compensate for my lack of stability in my knee. I hope that made sense, man. Um, nothing is uh, without risk. Will you get permanent injury? Any injury will be permanent in the sense that it'll never be 100% again but is it incapacitating, like handicap? Nah, nah. There's always freak accidents that could happen from my experience and from where I, like, it, it's gonna depend on, on who you're practicing with. For the most part, I mean, nobody's dying in judo. You know what I mean? So I, I hope that made sense and uh, I hope that was helpful. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys could work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.